what is going on everyone welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 and today I'm on multiplayer just under 700 people online right now but I figured you know what let's take a look here and you know see what kind of madness it is I've heard that it can be really bad I mean some people might want to complain about ATS but uh, I'm, I'm told ETS2 has it beat so Figured, all right, well, let's go ahead and give it a shot here. So, got the Scania all uh, done up here, nice and wild-like. Probably a little too much, actually. I probably should dial it back. Regular uh, Digger 500, I think it's called. Let's bring up the info here. Oh, there we go. Yep, Digger 500. So, taking this one, I'm in Luxembourg right now. So, running us all the way up to, what is it, Calais? Calais. Yeah, I'm going to be butchering a lot of names in this game. But Digger 500 is what it is, so to north I go. Now, if I have my information correct as well, he's coming at a good haste. Might as well wait for him to go by. He was moving pretty good. But, uh... Uh, I think yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with Calais. Uh, I, I think that's a pretty bad area, kind of dangerous area. Lots of traffic, lots of uh, trucks going around, lots of people around. So uh, we'll see if I survive that area. I'm not I'm not too sure what other areas are uh, you know like that. I'm pretty sure there are more. But, I mean, if they have to come out with rules for MP that, you know, you can't be just there just to drive around. You actually have to have a reason to be there. Uh, you know, that tells me it's a pretty busy area. So, I've got a regular 12-speed transmission in this one. And the way the shifter pattern is... Um, if you look at a normal shift pattern on a, on a stick shift, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one here, one is nothing, two is reverse, three, four, and five serve as one, two, and three. And then that's when you start flipping your switches to get into your higher gears and get your 12 speeds. Only 12 speeds are available. Uh, they do not have 13, or I don't think they have 10. They don't have 18 speed transmission, so 12 is what it is. And that's what I'm rolling with here. Other than that, I, the one thing I'm also getting used to is I'm going to try to... Look at how much that cab moves. Holy crap. I would probably get seasick. Now, they got the winter mod on here as well for ETS-2. And, um, no. Yeah, that's it. This is a, uh, uh, external contract here, so I am going to be limited on my speed. But, uh, reset that. There we go. Um, yeah, I'd probably get seasick on this thing with how much it... Holy crap. Even U.S. cabs don't sway that much, but Winter Mod is active, as you see here. It's something that downloads with the mod when you guys are joining the server. I don't think you can get around it. You have to have it. Don't know how long they're going to keep this active, though. And it doesn't look like uh, road condition changes any. It's just for looks, and that's it. Nothing. Uh, you know, it looked like on GTA 5, the winter effect that they had there over Christmas seemed to change some of the driving characteristics. But uh, in here so far, doesn't look like that's the case. Is that showing miles per hour? Yes, it is. Okay. But it's still showing euros. Or was that pound? No, that was euros. Need to change that over to dollars if I can. 
Now, ETS2 is not something I play very often. I've had requests from people over the months to play it. Um, it's something I have been wanting to play as well. But uh, just never get around to it. I keep on forgetting about it. And on top of that, it's it's one of those things I really don't know much about Europe, Europe and trucking regulations and uh, roads and things like that. Man, that's a... I would be one hell of a major learning experience and for something that I'm never going to use. Uh, now, one of the videos I did kind of touch on was the operating hours that truck drivers have over there and although I don't quite remember how I ended up figuring it all out I think someone had made a comment in a post about it um, you know but their hours of service over there in Europe for truck drivers are completely different than it is over here in the states so it, I'd have to re-educate myself on that but uh, fortunately none of that applies here to what I know I think I'm good on fuel, yeah. But ETS-2 here is still probably more popular than an ATS. I mean, multiplayer-wise, definitely. I mean, if, if they're cranking out people over 1,000 during peak hours or 2,000, you know, it, that's a lot of damn people. So the, uh, the popularity for ETS-2 is still pretty damn high, and the amount of... Uh, stuff that continues to come out is immense. I mean, the game, I mean, the, the, the DLCs, updates, mods, you name it, all of those items are still being produced for a game that's been out for, what, a couple of years now? So, you know, it's still a very popular game, very, uh, ooh, bouncy, bouncy. A very well maintained and updated game. So SCS is not letting this one just fall off to the wayside anytime soon here. I just wonder how long they're going to, you know, keep going on it. They just put out a blog post uh, today, or actually Wednesday. I mean, it's Wednesday as I record this. They put out a blog post uh, Wednesday, discuss or talking about how the, th the they're going to do the 3D. Oh damn it! Now I'm drawing a blank here. They were going to 3D render the the new Scania trucks. Uh, so or 3D modeling is what they're talking about doing. So. Yeah, it's also nice to see that they have that kind of cooperation, kind of like what they've had with Peterbilt now, only with ATS. It'd be nice if they could get it with Freightliner. Uh, I doubt it's going to happen with Mac, but it'd be nice if they had, you know, Volvo, Freightliner, Mac, Western Star. You know, it'd be nice if they had the major uh, trucking companies on board here, but for the most part, it looks like it's basically been just Peterbilt. I mean, they've shown the photos when they went to the Peterbilt test centers and things like that, but I don't think that they, I've seen any with Kenworth, but, uh, you know, I, I don't see why they wouldn't with Kenworth. I mean, that is a sister company to Peterbilt now. But at the end of the day, you know, most of the industry, whether it's car or truck, is owned by Volvo. <laughs> I mean, how many how many auto companies does Volvo own now? And I think the same thing it can be said for the trucking industry over here and their trucks. You know, uh, what trucks are owned by what company? Daimler or Volvo? With the setup here I have on this truck, I do have uh, the stacks coming out on the bottom there. If I went with a tandem axle truck here, I would not have the stacks on the bottom. And I guess over in Europe, having stacks, period, coming up the back of the cab is not something they do. So I wanted to keep the stacks instead of just hiding them. 
So I went with the single axle, and I just have them coming out underneath the side skirts there, and I like the look, actually. I just wish the sound was a little bit more. That's the one thing that looks like ETS-2 and ATS share, is the not-so-good sounds. Let's pay attention to the road here, shall we? And honestly, I kind of don't like how this truck looks. I don't like the tall sleeper or the tall headroom. It just looks kind of goofy, in my opinion. Tell you what, the trailer selection, the cargo selection here on ETS is way, way better than what we have on ATS. You know, the wood, the panels, the stacked, empty flatbeds or container trailers, you know, things like that. You know, what we have here in ETS is way, way better than what's in ATS. And hopefully SCS gets around to incorporating some more trailers. Uh, into ATS, that would be nice to have a little more selection instead of a flatbed that has one plow on it. I mean, come the hell on, you know? What the? Come on. He was fine. You know, I gotta tell you though, I mean, I know ETS has been out for a while, but I'm kind of liking how ETS looks compared to ATS. ATS, I mean, I've had people say ATS just feels like it's a rushed game, and you know what? After seeing what they've done here, I kind of have to agree. It does feel like it was just a rushed game, map-wise and everything else. Speed trap, I know what that sign is. Where is it on the back side of the bridge here? Oh, there it is. Well, you ain't gonna get me for speeding, I can't go any faster than this. At least they tell you, they warn you that there is a speed trap. Stop looking around and pay attention. Still have the way the GPS looks like I was supposed to go up that way, but a little more detail. <laughs> this snow is horrible, though. Right now, it looks like it's just fine, and then it starts to look all glitchy. Oh. GPS being stupid again wants me to go through there. Get bent.
should probably look at increasing the mirror. Oh, there's my new. Oh, I forgot to do that. All right, let's take a look at that right now. And goodbye. Oh, look at all these guys parked up here. Bye, bye. Oh, we had an exit up here. How are we doing? Oh, just about there. 26 minutes. Adjust those brakes a little too much. for speeding. Oh, around about the way. Like there's a lot of people here. I expected more. Maybe this isn't the spot. No, well, there's an idiot. That'll get you banned. Let's just do safe. Screw it. Oh, what's this? 
I'm gonna park this here. Maybe I'll grab another one. Maybe I won't. Don't know. But that's gonna be it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next run. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.